Erica, thank you for the question. Suppose you just received a shipment of six televisions. This is 5.4 about the multiplication rule. Uh, number 21 in the Sullivan stats text and number five in the, ins the assignment. Suppose you just received a, s a shipment of six televisions. Three of the televisions are defective. If two televisions are randomly selected, find the probability that both televisions work. Okay, so notice how work and defective, uh, they are, um, they exclude each other exhaustively. So the, there are three that are defective, there are three that, are, that work. What is the probability, and your question was really about that first one, you understand the second question, what is the probability that at least one of the two televisions does not work? So if two televisions are randomly uh, selected, compute the probability that both televisions work. This is probability that the first television works And, and, so now we've got a probability of a compound event. First television works and the second television works. Because it's an and, you know it's a multiplication rule of some kind. Well, probability E and F equals probability of E times the probability of F given E. So this is probability first TV works And, you know, what does first mean? Well, you have this shipment, and so you're like pulling them out of the truck. And the first one you pull out could be considered the first. Times the probability that the second TV works, given that the first TV worked. Given that well, if you are pulling TVs out of the truck and there's six of them and three of them work, the probability that the first TV works is three over six. And now there are five TVs left on the truck and two of them work. So the probability that the second TV works is two over five. And so the probability that both TVs work is six over 30, multiply across, Uh, or one fifth or point two. So that's the probability that both TVs work. And uh, if anyone else uh, would be interested in the second question, Erica, I know you know how to do that, but what is the probability that at least one? of the two televisions does not work. Well, we know that the probability of at least one is one minus the probability of none. That is that none of the two televisions does not work. That is the probability that both of them do work. Well, we found that in part A, one fifth. So one minus that is one minus one fifth, which is four fifths. 
So four-fifths is the probability that at least one of the two televisions does not work.